The queen did everything in her power to hold the throne, but a massive riptide off the ropes ends her reign, serving notice to all that Rhea Ripley has ascended to the highest levels of superstardom in WWE. The SmackDown women had delivered a classic, and 24 hours later on night two, it would be time for the women of Raw to have their opportunity. With two of the most dominant women in WWE history looking to collide, it was now time for Raw Women's Champion, the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, to defend against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Bianca's rise in WWE had been meteoric. After a successful run in NXT, she joined the main roster at WrestleMania 36, and one year later, we capture the SmackDown Women's Championship in the night one main event of WrestleMania 37. She'd lose to Becky Lynch at SummerSlam 2021, but the two would have their rematch at WrestleMania 38. This time, however, Becky was the Raw Women's Champion after being drafted from SmackDown, which would lead to her relinquishing the SmackDown Women's Championship in exchange for Raw's version. And this time, it was Bianca emerging victorious. Belair's reign would see victories over former women's champions Becky, Bayley, and Alexa Bliss. Truly in her element, no one has been able to find an answer for Bianca Belair, which is what made the world of sports entertainment buzz in anticipation when Asuka emerged from the 2023 Elimination Chamber as the winner, guaranteeing a meeting with Raw's women's champion at WrestleMania 39. When it comes to accomplishments, Asuka has left no stone unturned. NXT Women's Champion, Women's Tag Team Champion, winner of the 2018 Women's Royal Rumble, winner of the 2020 Women's Money in the Bank, held both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships, and of course, her initial undefeated run of 914 days to start her WWE career. Asuka had returned at the 2023 Royal Rumble, sporting a new look, seemingly dialing into something even more sinister than her punishing norms. She didn't win that night, but rebounded nicely the next month at Elimination Chamber, securing the meeting with Belair. Would Bianca's strength and athleticism be enough to survive Asuka's submission and kicks? Could Asuka find a way to stop a prime champion who seems unstoppable? Or would Asuka find herself as just the latest former champion to fall victim to Belair's KOD? These were the questions on the minds of the members of the WWE Universe. If you're going to defeat Asuka, it's going to take everything that the EST has in her arsenal. The power advantage is there, and if the KOD connects, it's lights out. But swing for the stars against Asuka and miss? Then it's the mist. You're on your own, against the wall, but we all know that even with the pressure building, you will never fall.
Despite only being made official weeks prior to WrestleMania, the entire WWE Universe was excited to see this clash between Asuka and Bianca Belair. Asuka looked to take control of Asuka over the top rope and crashing hard to the mat. If Asuka was going to win that night, she'd have to avoid letting Bianca get a hold of her. Eventually, Belair was able to wear Asuka down with her power, and a huge body slam looked to completely deflate the Empress of Tomorrow. Incredible struggle.
What made this match stand out was how Asuka and Be delivered by the women of WWE.